moments ago, Nicholas Cruz did walk into that courtroom, that proceeding underway. Uh, let's listen into the proceedings. Peter died as a result of the gunshot wounds, um, and then he um, fled the scene. So the state is seeking a no bond hold on the defendant. Okay, defense. Your Honor, the defense has no arguments at this time and will defer until further court proceedings. We would formally invoke Mr. Cruz's right to remain silent and that notification relates to any law enforcement agencies that are involved in this case, both at a state and federal level. Okay, I've reviewed the probable cause affidavit. Mr. Cruz filed in your case and I find probable cause. I further find the proof of guilt to be evident or the presumption great. Therefore, Mr. Cruz, you're gonna be held without bond until further order of the court. This order is without prejudice for you to file a motion to set bond with your assigned division judge and request a hearing under State v. Arthur. Does anybody know, has he been assigned a division judge yet? Yes, he has, Your Honor. He's been assigned to Judge Shears. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Sir, you're going to be held no bond. And you could hear the judge there saying Nicholas Cruz will be held without bond. She found a probable cause to hold him and a very quick uh, appearance in court. This is not a formal arraignment, but just the first step in the process, and you can see him being walked away there. Uh, we are learning more about Nicholas Cruz, the suspected shooter, including confirmation from a white militant group in Florida, indicating the 19-year-old was a member of that organization. And a member of the group says recently he had trouble with a girlfriend that may have played a role in the shooting. Cruz is a former student of the school where the shooting took place. He was expelled for bad behavior. Authorities say he returned yesterday afternoon as many students were leaving the campus. Witnesses say Cruz opened fire indiscriminately. He was armed with an AR-15 rifle, which authorities say was legally purchased. This morning, local leaders gathered for a press conference to discuss the shooting. Florida's governor saying action will be taken to make schools safer. He's also promising to address the issue of mental health when it comes to gun ownership. Next week in Tallahassee, I'm going to sit down with state leaders. We're going to have a real conversation about two things. How do we make sure when a parent is ready to send their child to school that in Florida, that parent knows that child is going to be safe? Number two, how do we make sure that individuals with mental illness do not touch a gun? We need to have a real conversation so we have public safety for our schools in this state. And yesterday's shooting was the deadliest since the Newtown, Connecticut shooting five years ago. Students say Cruz often bragged about guns, and the FBI is investigating a YouTube video that.